Greetings, I'm Surveying Glory and welcome back to U-Boat. This is part 7, uh, picking up where we left off at the end of the last part, chasing down this merchantman. Um, I thought I might be able to approach it on the surface, get it to pull over, pull over? Get it to come to a halt so that I could board it, but uh, Captain decided just to get a bit canny and started zigzagging away from me. So fired two torpedoes at it. I think we got one miss and one dud. Uh, we're down in here. So, yeah, we're just going to actually come out of this. Um, what we're going to do, let's run at maybe about 30 degrees. I think it's bearing to the targets about, well, it was about 20. It's now heading up towards 30. Where it is zigzagging. So, about 25, and we are heading 21. Let's come right to 045 and just stay at the same, um, same depth. And we'll just try and run it down. Yeah, so if it's. Um, I don't know what the the difference would be. In terms of the tutorial, one of the things that you have to do is actually approach ship on a surface and use your uh, scuttling charges to send it to the bottom after having checked that it's, uh, well, I suppose it's a neutral vessel. So if you, for example, come up on a Swedish freighter uh, and you discover that it's travelling towards an enemy port and it's carrying war materials of some description, then you can intercept... Well, I suppose you've intercepted it already, haven't you? But um, maybe the difference is if it is an enemy ship, they're just not going to play ball or try and get away rather than allow you to board. Anyway. I... So let's run on for, what's the time, it's 15-12, uh, let's give it until 15-30 and then we will, actually I just mean to go to normal speed, check its position now, it's still ahead of us. Oh, but we're already at 1.5. Okay. So, it looks like it's maintaining a steady course now. What? Well, and it's just it's the afternoon. Um, Let's track it. Let's try and get an intercept. Uh, and we can stop direct orders. We're not at alarm. So why are people stressed? High discipline minus 50%. Okay. Fuel is beginning to run a bit low. We've still got a ways to go to complete our patrol. So I don't actually want to be running too far north. What sort of distance do we have? 20 miles. And we've, I don't know how far we've travelled. Um, I think we might have to let it go if it's travelling. I, mean, I don't think that's 30 miles. And the important thing is completing our, our uh, patrol. Yeah, I think that one's going to have to elude us then. Okay. 
let's just carry on. Let's come right to... No, let's stay on 45. Let's get to the edge of the patrol. Come to the I'm surface. Gone. Full I'm speed ahead. I was going to Meter. try and get that sonar bearings or hydrophone bearings. Work out its course. See if I could plot an intercept, but I don't think that's really worth it. Uh, okay, let's fast Obviously forward a bit, get to the surface, and then have a look. And there she is. So it's off at 30 degrees. And we're still turning. No, we're not. Uh, let's come right to... Let's come right to 055. We could probably come all the uh, let's come right to 60. Because we might be able to herd it and keep it within our patrol sector. Yeah, let's fast forward. Herr Kaloyn, feindliche Schiffe machen sich gefechtsbereit. Spotted us again, that's fine. I've just send them zigzagging. Uh, Riga is in his bunk. Graf, can you get a point to the bridge, please? And we'll have a look. Graph, are you up here? Right, you must be. Where did they go? Did they cut right across my bow? How could they do that? Ah, excellent. So let's come right to zero nine zero. And we'll just run due east. Because this is what I wanted to do to transfer crew across, but didn't get the chance. Right. Okay, so we are pulling ahead of it. While still to go. I wish we knew what time sunset was. September, it's not going to be until maybe, well, maybe 7 8 pm. Let's get down to periscope depth. Trying to get into a position to shoot at them. Hard to tell, are they still moving or are they stationary? We'll get to uh, periscope depth. We'll get Dresky out of his bunk once again. And. We'll try and work out its track. Where are we? We're up here. What time? 16.03. And... Let's get you 
six o'clock, so you're only halfway through your rest. Well, that's a pity, isn't it? So you're going to have to get into the listening room. We'll get on with our normal business. So we know it's close. Propellers detected. 119. Let's come to a stop. And when we've come to a stop, actually, we'll have a look at the speed. We'll go in this direction. In fact, let's go a bit quicker. There we are. Raise the scope. Oh, I can't, that's it. Right, let's relock the target. We're going to get a reading on its speed. If we can. Very rough seas. There we go. I trust it will manage to get a decent reading. Did stop, yep. I may have to estimate, but that's okay. More propellers. Well, they're not going to be close, so you don't need to worry about them. Right, we need a trough now. Okay. Set six knots, uh, roughly. Right. Another ship propeller bearing 343, uh, 340. Closing in, and it's only 16 to 26 miles away. So, maybe another target for us. Might be a destroyer. I doubt it though. Uh, let's get on with this other business then. Uh, pause the game. 108. Let's get. Uh, we need to get rid of Dreski. Yeah, so we need uh, bearing at 108. And then get our chronometer up. Run 20 minutes. And hopefully it will stay on a straight heading. Even if it zigzags, we should be able to work out some sort of aggregate or um, uh, general heading. Bearing one. Bearing two is zero. I've never seen a change like that before. I guess I've never been that close when I've been trying to work this out. Right. Reset that. Uh, call you bearing two. How close is that other target now? Still 16 to 26, that's fine. Right, uh, another 20 minutes. Smoke over the horizon to take, and that would be the Empire Stalwart disappearing. The hope is that I can run on the surface um, and catch it again and get into a firing position when uh, we've got dusk. So uh, 346 was that. 346. Right. Bearing 3. And Let's have a look. Uh, before we do that, let's bring this back. So I need to reset you. See if we can still spot it. It's 
not looking very good, is it? Uh, three, four, six. It should be out there somewhere. Uh, there's a smoke right there. Okay. Uh, let's work out our course. It's over the horizon. We should be able to run on this surface uh, at... Let's head at 310. Left to 310. 309 is fine. No, 310. Okay. Let's see how we got on with this. So we need to draw a couple of circles here. Let's give us... Ten miles for the first one. Twenty for the next. And we have this as a random point. Is this more propellers again? No, it can't be. We're coming up to the surface. One three zero. Yeah. Uh, you're. Um, can't tell me anything Dresky because we're now on the surface. Okay, point one. The bearing for this line here is 257. Uh, let's make this big and we'll get rid of that other one so 257 put you from here through to 067 no 077 yeah that goes through a random point our next plot then is Intersection. Oh no, hang on, that's not what I wanted, it was this. Point two. Yeah, I was getting mixed up with the random point there. Okay, so we need to extend that even further. No, we go from point one through point two to the intersection on the third bearing, which is here. Plot three. And then we need to extend that line even further. So roughly like that. And then compasses. The distance there is 18.2, so we need 36.4, which is around about there. And that would be uh, 0.4. And then we draw the estimated bearing from our original point. I've come the wrong direction, damn it. Well, we need to run it now, don't we? Um, through point four, which is here. And that's our bearing for estimate. I suppose I don't have to run in a straight line. It doesn't matter. Let's come right. It should have been 310 relative. Uh, come right to 020. And we'll run for the next wee while. Again, up until our 20 minute mark, roughly. Stop about here. Uh, Tresky. 
let's get you back into the listening room. Funnel smoke detected. I think we're closing in again. And down into periscope depth. And we can tidy up some of this mess. Well, I'm just going to leave it. No, I'm going to get rid of this. I don't know what... Oh, that was the other... I don't know, actually. Can't delete it. Can't get rid of that and that. And that's not bearing two, so we can get rid of that. It's not going anywhere. Right, do we have... No, we don't have... Uh, contact yet. Cancel that. Right, ready for observations. What do we have? Freighter at 081. Uh, that is our contact again. Right, another 30 seconds. Ship propeller at 062. We'll have a look, see if we can see that other ship. Um, because... It, yeah, that's moving away, this one's closing in. If this is another freighter, we're just going to switch targets to that one. Right, what's our bearing now? 082. So, from this position, get our bearing marked in. 082 and that crosses here uh, that's bearing 4 estimate there no that's bearing 4 estimate so there's our intersection right target is there and now Bearing for that is 50 degrees. So we need that. Um, get rid of that. 50 degrees. doesn't actually cross the other bearing lines. Hmm. And we could extend bearing one, but bearing two, bearing three would all be further behind. Does that matter? And I think that's actually okay. Let's try. Um, so you come through there. But no, it's opposite direction, isn't it? Yeah. Nope, so that's not going to work. Okay. Once again, fail to get a decent uh, course estimate. These guys are stuck for now. Right, uh, let's just go on at normal speed then. And where are our contacts? 063 and 082. Do we see? No, that's just a smudge on the lines, it's not smoke. 082. There is smoke there. So the other ship 
uh, is moving in. 063. Right, okay. Right, right, right. Come right to 060. We'll just head towards that one, half a head. And we'll stop direct orders. So I think the Empire Stalwart's going to get away. And we'll try and catch this other one. Graph, you seem to be doing nothing. Let's get you back on the attack periscope. And look dead ahead. And again, we've got water smudges, water droplets in the lanes. Make your depth four meters, give me an extra couple of meters. No sign of funnel smoke anywhere. Apart from that, I think Empire Stalwart heading away. Oh, there we go. Who's this? Zero four zero. Andreski, we need you back in the listening room. Speed up a wee bit. Thank you, auto save. Right, we have ship propeller at zero four one. And that's moving away. Just because it's so... No, it's not straight on. I think that's the towers behind. It just masts make it look like it's moving parallel to us. Okay, that's moving away. Ship bearing 25 degrees. And hopefully this is the one coming towards us. Closing in. Excellent. Okay. Well, I'm going to put a break in here and in the next part, hopefully we'll be attacking this ship. We'll see. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please leave me a comment, rate the video, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content and I hope to see you again next time. Cheers.